72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling me. Damn, I'm in the face my mind. Let's look at that cloud now, and this night is never on vacation. Sound of that mind's already in. Hey, what up guys? Warcrags, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry I haven't uh, uploaded here recently. Uh, some of you guys know I'm on vacation. So I'm trying to get all my content and stuff together uh, for Saturday when I come back. Um, so right now we're just going to go over the uh, basic uh, PTS uh, patch changes that Zoss has put out. I'm surprised that they put some out. Uh, I know you guys have probably read it or uh, found your information for other sources, but I figured I'd just go ahead and cover it anyway. I haven't really read through this entirely. I saw a lot of uploads of people going over the PTS patch notes. So um, there, there are a few changes i like to note. Uh, first of all, uh, gamepad mode scaling. Uh, this is for us OG controller users. Still OG on the sticks. All right. Uh, we just got more customization options there. Um, sorry guys if you're into the PVE stuff. Uh, I haven't played any of the PTS. Uh, none of the PVE. Like nothing. I've just read about the changes. I don't, I don't really know too much about the dungeons. Uh, to be honest. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Um, so Dragon Knight. Uh, coagulating blood. Increase the uh, base healing of this ability by 12%. Thank God about time to ensure it's closer in line with other heals, such as Breath of Life. Uh, with this new value, uh, essentially, it's a little bit weaker above 50 and stronger than those hills when you're below 50. Um, it's a good change because in order for coagulating blood to actually work, you have to be pretty much dead. And I don't like having to wait to use my uh, my burst heal when I'm at like 20-30% health. That's just not a good feeling. Like My butthole is clenching the entire time. So uh, I'm really glad they, they did this change. I would like to not drop below 50% health, if at all possible. Necromancer, Frozen Colossus, they fixed an issue where the AoE could be dodged. Uh, I've seen that happen a couple times. Hell, I still do it. A werewolf, uh, proper error message. Crafted sets, uh, so uh, Dreamer's Mantle and Draws Heritage. Uh, fixed an issue where the sets not back in secondary procs would desync from one another, having a different frame rate. Uh, fixing an issue in the knockback of these sets would also stun uh, more targets than intended um, and make people slide around. A new moon got nerfed from uh, 401 spell damage uh, down to 401 spell damage from 481. Kind of needed it. Um, set was, I wouldn't say busted, but it's easy to compensate for the uh, the cost increase. Torx packed, they changed it down to 45%, thank God. I, I think that was just a typo. Like going from a 30% increase to a 90% increase just kind of blew my mind. So that had to be a typo. Um, the best way to change things is to incrementally do it, not just jump with a big change like that. Um, elemental Precision. This did need toned down a little bit. Uh, instead of getting 8% uh, crit damage, you're only getting 15% damage. Uh, this is only good for like three classes. Uh, Sork, Magblade, and maybe a Magden. Um, our classes come to mind. I used to play a range of DK build you could use this on. So... Um, I still think this will be a super, super strong set since this is pretty much going to be a crit meta. Um, Sorks are going to run rampant. So like, Sorks will be hard to deal with. Night Blades will be dif difficult to deal with. And hell, even Magdans are, to be honest. Uh, this is a really good set all around. And plus with the uh, M-Pin nurse, there's more nerfs to M-Pin. So this is going to be even more invaluable. All right, Spell Power Cure. Reduce the duration of Major Courage. Granted from the set uh, down to 5 seconds from 10. Uh, this is to... Uh, Reinforce the idea that you need to constantly be healing your allies instead of letting healing them doing your own thing, like fapping for nine seconds. Uh, unleash terror, adjust the set to persist oh, for ten seconds or oh, from five. Okay, reduce the damage, to ensure the DPS remains relatively the same while lowering the burst damage provided. Cool. Uh, Thoracian Stranglers, I really like this mythic item as a concept. Uh, and from what I've heard, they'll play around with even more iterations of this, but um, as it sits. Uh, you're going from 20 to 50 stacks, and this is pretty much going to be indefinitely. You get 2,000 weapon and spell damage for maintaining that. Uh, it's, be really, it's, it's really good. Um, you just got to you know, just be careful with it. Um, I'm very curious to see what other changes it's going to go through. It's, it, it's, it's very good. I'm probably going to run on the PvE builds once I start busting those out. Um, Mer Meritorious Service, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, they increased the tooltip number, whatever. Ravager, fix an issue that said did not activate off of armor, reducing sources such as crystal weapons. Okay, so we got uh, vestments of Orlame, reduce the damage of the area of effect, grants uh, major courage from the set and perfected version down to 5 seconds from 10. Increase the duration of the major courage granted from the touching area area effect from 20 seconds from 10 seconds. Uh, with these adjustments, Zoss uh, hopes to better reinforce that you need to coordinate with your allies to quickly capitalize on the effect 
and you get better rewards for doing so. Yeah, uh, Bloodthirsty essentially they change the spell damage you get from 350, uh, from 250, 350. Excuse me, stacking linearly. Uh, the closer you get to death, this, in my opinion, probably needs more of a buff like the 450. And it stacks linearly down. You know what I'm talking about. And I think that's all the changes for this one. I will be, uh, yeah, furnishings and pathing and stuff. Flash, guys, like. I'm not going to go over all this. You can read through it yourself. Um, so yeah, that pretty much does it for this. I'll be going over the uh, the other changes. I, I'm pretty sure it's awesome. Um, just either today or yesterday upon uh, recording this. They uh, put out some more notes. I'll go over that in a separate video. Um, also, um, all the community tab. Um, I do have a post up right now. I need some suggestions for some content for 1VX, guys. Um, I don't want to build, you know, super OP builds in 1VX. With them. That's that's not challenging. It's really not fun. So um, I, I made a post saying, hey, give me some ideas of uh, ways to 1VX. For example, I did a sort with no streak. Um, some suggestions that I've seen uh, include, you know, maybe using any class, but you can't use any class abilities. That's a really good suggestion. Or a Nightblade without shade, for example, or a melee sorcerer, you know, just, just anything, you know, crazy ideas like that. So, if you guys have any ideas, you know, just kind of let me know or uh, uh, put it in the post that I have. And then uh, when I come back Saturday, I will compile all the suggestions uh, provided by you guys. I'll let you vote on them to see um, what you guys want me to do. If, even if I don't have that character, I'll grind it, I'll grind a character up just to do um, the top voted there and I want to kind of do something like that maybe uh, once or twice a month you know maybe even more if I had the time I think that'd be pretty cool a um, little concept I don't think anyone else is doing that uh, so if you guys have any other suggestions for a channel such as that you know you just kind of let me know and don't forget to submit your toxic clips of the week to horcruxeso.com please or at yahoo.com excuse me um, there's only one person see my clip and again guys it's not to reinforce toxicity this is just the opposite. It's to expose the toxic people. So maybe in the future, people will be more hesitant to be toxic toward others and afraid that, you know, they're going to get exposed or people's going to talk bad about them or whatever. So it's an indirect way of dealing with the toxic community. And, you know, it kind of gives the, uh, the non-toxic people a little bit of, you know, kind of pat on the back. You know, uh, I feel, I feel... It needs some positive reinforcements. I think it's a good idea. A lot of people don't, but uh, I think it can go a long way if people actually start uh, going wrong with it. All right, so this has been Horcrux. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will be uploading possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure, but uh, Saturday I'll be back. Sunday I'll definitely be home, you know, back in the house set up. So expect some more content then. So until then, guys, this has been Horcrux, and deuces. Have a good day.